it's about 2.45 on a Wednesday and I took this one road which is a loop in Arches National Park and it's a parking lot like just since you have to do the loop there's only one way to go and I'm literally just sitting here waiting to get into the parking lot it's that busy uh, this time of year I can't imagine this on a weekend but um, I haven't got out too much here. I mean, it's a bunch of, uh, you know, storm for stone formations. Really cool. I like it. I've been taking some pictures, um, but I'm not really getting out and walking around. And uh, whenever I can, I'm just snapping them from my vehicle. So, but uh, if you're ever in the area, especially if you've got a, um, a pass, definitely take a drive in here. It's one of the wildest parks I've been in. I mean, it's, it's really cool. Some of these stone formations and I would think that some of these uh, top-heavy ones aren't going to last a lot longer. I mean, some of them look like they're about to tip over now, but uh, definitely take, take a look at this park if you're in the area. If you come to Arches National Park and you take the road to Delicate Arch, there is a 4x4 trail that you can actually get on. Um, you have to get up over the curb, but I read the signs and it just said you needed 4x4 to go on this trail. There's no outlet, so I'm just going to see where it goes. goes. Alright, so I just read the, the gate on the other side. Apparently you can just go through that gate. They just want you to keep it closed. It must be either, I don't know, a boundary line or open range or something like that. I'd take it, but one, I've already run out of time, and two, I just aired up not that long ago and just and uh, reconnected my sway bar links um, from when I was over on the Schaefer uh, Trail and uh, Canyon Rim. So uh, because of that, I'm just going to turn around and head back. But it looks like a pretty cool trail. So if you're ever in the area and you got time and you got a four x four in uh, this park, take a, take a look at it.
right, so I am in Nevada, I don't know, about 45 minutes from Vegas, and I decided to try to find a spot that uh, I could just sleep at easily overnight. Um, I found this on iOverlander. It's supposed to be like some kind of canyon overlook. I'm not going to be here very long, and now that uh, I'm on this road, it kind of doesn't make sense for me to go four or five miles out of my way on a dirt road but it's free and now I'm in the middle of the Nevada desert trying to find a spot <laughs> that I can't see so uh, yeah this should be interesting so this road goes from paved to rocks to paved and it looks like it's uh, barely kept up. There's a lot of uh, growth on the road itself but very interesting at night. I've got my uh, so those are my spots that my floods are on and that's without it so I'm really glad I have these. I do believe that over that ridge is a huge drop off based on the pictures that I saw. So I think I'm the only one here. I'm going to turn around so that I can look at that and um, call this home for the night. It's, uh, I don't know. From what I can tell, about a 40, 50 foot drop down into the canyon. Let's see a little bit better. Pretty cool spot. Other than creepy crawlies, I'm not really worried about too much else. I'm sure there's coyotes around here and stuff, but there's a nice fire ring somebody made but very cool spot there's the jeep so yeah I'm gonna get organized I don't know I'd say it's about 80 80 75 it's pretty warm but there's a nice breeze blowing so I think if I leave my windows cracked it should be all right I don't feel any bugs around me or anything like that so that's kind of nice I'm going to move this around and actually get configured um, since I'm not uh, like worried about anything coming up behind me or anything while I'm here so uh, I'm actually gonna take my time to do that and uh, get a good five six hours sleep and then uh, head out in the morning All right, good morning. It is not even 6.30 yet, and it already started to get pretty hot inside the Jeep. It was barely comfortable last night. With the fan blowing right on me, it was uh, still not how I like to sleep. But that is the Canyon Overlook, and it's a really cool spot. I'll leave the coordinates on here, but I'm gonna have to pull away from here. The bugs are really bad all over the Jeep right now, and I don't want them inside, so. I think I'll go to the paved part of the road to get in here, open it up quick, and do what I need to do, and then get moving, and decide if I'm going to drive through the Valley of Fire real quick or not. I haven't quite decided that yet, but uh, it is early. I do have the time, so I might as well make the most of it.
but uh, what a cool spot. I-15 is back there, but I mean, you can hear it, but when you're inside the vehicle, you can't really hear it too bad. But nice secluded spot with the fire ring and a great view in the morning. So I just made some coffee, started to organize the Jeep. I'm on this pretty long, lonely road. The bugs are starting to catch up to me. They're actually landing on the phone as I'm talking. Um, when I first got here, there weren't any, and now there's these little uh, black gnats that are just absolutely everywhere. So not as bad as where I was, but I got to get moving, pack up, and get out of here nonetheless, because, man, actually now there's about 10 of them around the phone. It is crazy, but very cool spot. I don't think this actually saved me any time. By the time I got off the exit and taken miles and miles of the side road, because I can see, I think it's, uh, what's the town here? Prim, Nevada. Um, and I could just see it in the distance. I didn't air down my tires. I'm still at about 30 something pounds. So it's been slow going. I'm not seeing a ton of traffic, like that the accident's been completely cleared, but I do see traffic moving on 15. Um, still cool nonetheless, but I'm at the point where I can see the town. It is right there, and if this dead ends, I am, I'm going through desert on an unpaved path if I have to. I'm, I'm so far dedicated at this point, but um, I am almost there. And I am looking forward to being off this road. It's wasted so much time between that accident and this. Um, especially since it was 97 at 9.30 this morning. and Or 92, sorry. It's supposed to be 107 out here as a high. Um, I realize I, I don't miss this at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm already looking forward to either heading north or heading back towards... Uh, Colorado or something. This, uh, I can completely do without this. Thank goodness I am going to be in a house in Southern California. Made it out. So, at an even higher price than the last exit because it just took too long to try to wait and get that gas. So I'm going to stop at the Flying J up here, pay a bit more because it's definitely going to be worse in California.